All right, what's going on guys? Uh, I already recorded this, but I'm gonna do it again because the audio kept cutting out. So let's go ahead and do a range test on the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Take off. Don't wanna waste any time. Uh, it is currently kind of gusty outside right now, so we're looking at probably winds somewhere around 10 or 15 miles an hour. Uh, earlier when I did this, for some reason, the audio kept cutting out on my Sony ZV-1, so I'm just straight hooked into a, a Zoom H1n. All right, so we're at 300 feet. Now, I'm gonna go straight out this way, because if I go this way, I have a clear line of sight. If I were to go anywhere around me, I'm gonna have a crap ton of trees, and I basically just want to have the best possible outcome for this drone, so, Without further ado, let's go ahead and get it. So I am flying in normal. Right now we're at around 15 miles an hour and I see the little mini up there. We're at 320 feet. Uh, last time I did this, I got to about 5,300 feet. And that's basically when the feed kept cutting in and out and it was giving me issues. I have 19 satellites and currently right now 94% battery, five bars on the RC. I'm gonna to try to keep this pointed towards the Mini 4 Pro as best as I possibly can, going straight forward. We're at 18 miles an hour, 17 and a half, 18 miles an hour. We're a thousand feet out right now. 1200 coming up. So like I said, last time I did this, I was able to get about 5,300 feet. I was sitting down, so I feel that that maybe played in a factor a little bit. Let's see if we can hit 5,300 again. Let's let the camera down. Might even try to get a little bit more altitude just to give myself some comfort. Max altitude reached. So we're at 386. Max altitude reached. Okay, thanks Siri. We are currently 2,000 feet away. Still have five bars. Now, the reason why I'm doing this at my house, thanks Siri, here I'll drop it down to 370. The last time I did, or the reason why I'm doing this at my house, number one, is because I feel the majority of people that are gonna buy this drone aren't going to go out to a wide open field that has thousands of acres of no trees, no houses, no telephone poles, all that stuff. We're at 27, 2700 right now. So whenever you see YouTubers do these flight, uh, whenever you see YouTubers do these like range tests for the drones, they normally do these in areas where they have either like on the hillsides or they're out in like these giant pastures and stuff where there's no interference or anything. So to give it a better, to give it a better opportunity to see what it'll do in like a rural area or like a city. Um, I mean, obviously there's not a bunch of houses around here, but there's a lot of interference. I would assume probably I mean, you're, you're probably looking at, you know, Wi-Fi signals, telephone poles, power lines, and all that stuff. So we're coming up on 3,900 feet. Currently at 13, 15, 17, 18. Oh, the pippy. The pip. What are you doing, little pippy? All right, 43. So right now I have four bars. I have pretty good signal. I mean, I still have 19 satellites. Uh, probably around this time, last time I did this, the first time I did this flight range test, uh, around this time I was starting to get drop in signal and uh, the feed was starting to get choppy and stuff. So let's push it up a little bit higher, 390. So we're at 5,000 feet right now. We have two bars. Two bars on the RC. And I hear a plane in the distance. Hopefully that's not going anywhere near my drone. It's 
so I can't really get it too much further. Uh, right now the RC signal is beeping red, but I still have pretty good feed. So we're at 5,900. Definitely doing a lot better than the last, last range test. 61. 62. I mean, right now the RC is beeping red, but I still have really good feed. 64, 65. I have one bar on the RC and it's flashing red. Still have 19 satellites. 68, 69. So one mile is 5280, 5,280 feet, if I remember correctly. So we're at 7,200 right now. We have 67% battery left. And man, we're still going. This is a pretty good photo right here. I might need to actually snag a photo of this real quick. do a little bracket. I have it also in 48 megapixels, the uh, quad bear sensor. So we'll see how that turns out as a little exposure bracket. I mean, we're, we're hitting 8,000 feet right now. And I still have really good crystal clear video feed, 8,200. Eighty-five. I mean, to be honest with you, this is pretty crazy to be a hundred percent with you. Right, we're gonna snag a picture of this real quick. I don't know what that is. Trying to keep the drone and the remote in line with each other. We're at 9,000, 9,100, 9,200. I mean, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I, uh, I, I don't understand why anybody wants to fly this far with their drone. Um, I never really understood the whole like, oh, I need uh, my drone to go 9,000 feet. All right. We're losing signal really bad here now. So the video is starting to get choppy. We're at 10,000. Soon here, we're probably gonna do a return to home because uh, I'm feeling a little sketched out. We got 57% battery life left and that's 10 minutes. 10,400. I mean, we're almost two miles away right now, which is pretty fucking nuts. All right. All right, so we're gonna call this right now, 10,561. We're gonna do a return to home. Return to home. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, I don't even really know where this is right now. But uh, yeah, I mean, all right. So we definitely got a hell of a lot further distance on this range test than we did the first time. So, I mean, 10,500 feet is insane. Um, I, I would assume, where are we at? So if you're able to I mean, obviously, if you're doing a range test like this, you want it to be safe. Um, obviously, with FAA rules and regulations, you're really technically not allowed to do this. There is a BVLOS, Beyond Visual Line of Sight, uh, waiver that you can get. If you want to do stuff like this, um, you just have to go onto the FAA's website or the, the drone FAA website and apply for it. So. 
if you want to do Beyond Visual on a site flights like this, you just have to go onto the FAA's website and apply for the waiver. I think that they were supposed to do away with the waivers for that, but I could be wrong. Anyways, we are heading back. We're at 7,000 feet right now. This is a pretty good photo. Hopefully that captured all of it. Let me pause it right here real quick. All right. Now we're going back home. All right. So, anyways, uh, we're at 6,500 feet. I don't... Out of all the years that I've been flying drones, I personally don't ever see myself needing to fly this far. Unless I was doing some sort of, like, search and rescue or, like, uh, search type of thing. I mean, honestly, I'd, I really don't see the need to ever really fly this far. Just make sure that we're still recording. Yes, we are. So, but yeah, I mean, really, I don't, I don't see the need to be, to have to be able to fly this far. It's just, it, to me, it doesn't make any sense. But anyways, I mean, this is what people want to see, you know? They want to see how far this thing can go. So where I live is, as you can tell, pretty rural. I mean, there's pretty much trees everywhere. We're at 4,400 feet right now. 389 feet at a height, uh, 26, 26, almost 27 miles an hour back, top speed. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't, I don't ever really see the need to have to fly this far. I mean, doing it once is cool or whatever, but uh, I just, I mean, I don't see people doing this all the time. Um, the Mini 4 Pro has a max flight time of 34 minutes, and that is in the perfect conditions with zero wind at, I think it's like 15 miles an hour, or 10 miles an hour, something like that. So, with that being said, I'm gonna get stop with the notifications. Um, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't really see a need to do this range test thing or like fly it super far away dangerous and then I mean what would have happened if uh, the drone would have just plopped out of the sky you know then I would have had to go find it I would have had to have probably gone through somebody's backyard or knocked on somebody's door and said hey uh, I need to go walk around your yard for the next 10 minutes looking for my drone which I also think is kind of stupid but uh, you know it is what it is so we're almost home But uh, yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, we got 10,500 feet, almost, almost two miles with the DJI Mini 3, the DJI Mini 4 Pro. I keep wanting to call this thing the Mini 3 for some reason, but and there it is, I see it. I don't know if you guys can't really see it, but it's, it's right there. All right, and then we'll do Pippi. Come on, little Pippi, come on. Coming? There's a goat back here, little pippy. It's gonna do a return to home landing, but because the dog is there, it's probably not gonna land. Pippy. Uh, I will say uh, the couple of times that I have done a auto return to home landing, it has landed in the exact same spot, um, pretty close to where it took off to. The jog. I'm gonna kick it over to the left there a little bit. Uh, it's gotten pretty close to where it took off from, so I will give it props to that, to where it lands. All right, we landed with 35% battery left, and that's it. That was the range test for the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Hopefully you guys like this. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you didn't like it, also give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. I'm Jordan, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.